My name is Paul Anderson. I'm the founder and executive director of Huts for Vets. Our program takes men and women veterans into the wilderness of Colorado for healing opportunities in quiet, serene, beautiful places. We hike in the wilderness and we go up to the mountain huts of the 10th Mountain Hut System. We are living in unprecedented times. We're all under trials right now, tribulations, uh, living lives that we never thought we'd have to live. And we need some help maybe uh, adjusting to this or coping mechanisms that can help us. So over the next few weeks, we are going to be bringing you a series of videos that will encapsulate what we do and who we are. It'll show our staff and team. The video that you'll see have been recorded over the last five years by Krisha Carter Getz, who is our videographer. Uh, you'll see Jake Saxon, our Qigong master, uh, directing Qigong exercises. We'll take a closer look at life at the hut. We'll be looking at the role of nature in our lives and hear the thoughts and insights from your fellow veterans, your comrades in arms, brothers and sisters. So join us for a series of videos and we look forward to bringing you into the mountains on a journey that I think can offer you some ideas on how to maintain during this time. I think what this mountain's done for me is it's put me in the presence. I have a lot of things that I'm, I'm struggling with, um, but one of them, one of the bigger ones is, you know, slowing down. You know, I don't know how to sit still or shut it down. But, you know, no matter how hard I pushed or how fast I wanted to take it, this mountain slowed me down. I had no choice with the altitude change in the breathing. Um, I took it in and I accepted it for what it was. You know, it was more of, okay, I'm gaining so much more out of slowing down than I am, you know, being the first one up the hill. I've always loved the wilderness or just being outside. So that's what I've gotten out of being here for this last couple days. It's just seeing the path in the which path I want to go and it's actually coming clearer because if you asked me last week what I wanted to do I, I, I tell you I don't know I, I don't know what I want to do with my life you know with this next chapter but now it's getting a lot clearer so. well, I come by here and stop here every trip and take different pictures, different lighting, different times of day, evening, spring, you know, late summer, early fall. And it's just so stunningly beautiful every time. Never changes. It's always the same, but it's always different. And it's just, this recharges my soul right here. Now. I was just amazed at how in tune with nature this trip brought me. And I'm so excited. I, I, feel, I feel refreshed, renewed, ready to go back. And, and it was good to be unplugged. I was not used to just sitting out by myself, you know, out in nature. But I actually received such a clarity doing it. The clarity of just thoughts in tune with my body and with what was surrounding me as well. It's been a real healing process for me. It's hard to open up without seeing what you can open up to. Um, I think that's what the, uh, the this nature and this wilderness has provided. That I didn't think I needed um, until I got here. You know, you don't think you need that. You know, um, we were always taught in the military anything anti-guyish is you know, you're not masculine, you know. Uh, trees, flowers, any of that, you know, it's down the drain, that's a sign of weakness. When actually it's a sign of growth and maturity, and I found that out being here. Yeah, you see the sun starting to peek its head up and the changes on the mountains is just amazing. Um, to watch the coloration changes and even though with all the people here it's still peaceful um, 
you know, you can you still have that quietness, which is just relaxing and, you know, takes all the stress away. Early in my life, I spent a lot of time in the outdoors. That's the thing that really helps me self-reflect and settle me and ground me. Just being, being able to connect my, my feet on the earth, uh, my eyes on the horizon. And it forces me to reach deep inside myself and come up with a solution so I can start over the next time.